President Trump just wrapping up an exclusive interview with us. We covered several topics from opening schools to the 2020 election. Here's the president now on what he said about former President Obama and former Vice President Joe Biden when it comes to spying on the president and his campaign in 2016. President Obama knew everything. Uh, Vice President Biden, as dumb as he may be, he knew everything. And everybody else knew everything, Maria, and you know it. And Comey and Brennan and Clapper, they all were terrible, and they lied to Congress, and they put Flynn, they want to put Flynn in jail, and he didn't lie because the FBI said he didn't lie, and we just found that out. You know, it was only Mueller that said he lied. And joining me right now, the California congressman who sniffed this story out from day one. He is House Intel Committee ranking member, House Ways and Means Committee member, Devin Nunes. Congressman, it's always a pleasure. Thank you so much for joining us. Well, Maria, I wasn't sure I was going to be on this morning. I thought the president was going to take up your entire three-hour show there for a while. <laughs> yeah, we had a good uh, we had a good slot of time with him there, and you heard what he said about President Obama and uh, and Vice President Joe Biden. How far up the ladder did this go, Congressman? You sniffed this story out and told us what they did in March of 2018 with your Nunes memo. Every uh, so many people said it's not true, and they said that you were uh, you were wrong. In fact, you were spot on on everything. Does this go up to Obama? and Biden, as the president just told us? Well, yeah, Maria. In fact, I always like to say that it's uh, way worse than even we thought it was, and we knew it was really, really bad. Uh, look, there's no question. Uh, now that we are finally getting some uh, documents declassified that we've been looking for for a long time, let me take the audience back to late 2016, early 2017. Somebody takes a recording of General Flynn, an American citizen, a war hero, uh, the incoming national security advisor, and they leak it out all over the place in 2017. Uh, there is a meeting that occurs on through, over the course of the New Year's where the, the FBI agents that were in charge of the investigation had finally, after an exhaustive six-month investigation, had said, oh, wow, I guess the former Defense Intelligence Agency chief, General Flynn, uh, he's actually done nothing wrong, and they had completely cleared him. That happens on January 4th. On January 5th, this was the meeting that the president uh, and I think you were referring to, uh, there's a meeting in the Oval Office between the President Obama, Vice President Biden, and a bunch of the dirty cops and other people uh, that, were, that were in there. Uh, the notes now say that it was Biden who actually brought up this issue of, of going after Flynn on the Logan Act. So clearly, the previous administration knew that they were spying on the Trump campaign. Uh, Joe Biden should have known at that time to put a, a halt to this. So he is just as guilty as, as everybody else. And I don't mean guilty in the sense that he broke any laws, but he knew damn well that something was occurring using our intelligence apparatus in this country, the FBI and the Department of Justice, to target the people that his party had just got their clocks cleaned by in November of 2016, uh, when Donald Trump surprised the why, world why and they won this election. Why did they hate General Flynn so much? I had a source the other day tell me that they were running a private book, tens of billions of dollars out of the Office of Net Assessments, and General Flynn wanted to audit the ONA. He wanted to know who was being paid and what. Why were they being paid? I've got a timeline here that shows Stefan Halper, who is a now outed spy, was paid $211,000 in 15, $411,000 the next year, just a couple of months before they uh, secured the wiretap to, to spy on Carter Page. So I ask you, what was going on at the Pentagon uh, or the CIA being overseen by John Brennan that General Flynn wanted to audit and that put him in such a bad light with all of these people, they wanted him out. Well, I would first say that General Flynn was was right on. I have, I've known him since uh, I first met him in Iraq in the in the early 2000s uh, when he developed uh, the best intelligence machine in modern warfare history. Uh, General Flynn knew that there was a lot of waste, that a lot of bad decisions were made for the soldier out in the field, for the, for the American 
uh, son or daughter that we have out there in the field putting their life on the line every day. The bureaucracy in Washington, D.C., with the intel apparatus had gotten way too big, and it had become corrupt. Um, he was actually one of the first to point out that al-Qaeda was resurging uh, in Iraq. It eventually became ISIS. If you remember, that's why uh, we have to take people back. That's why General Flynn was fired way back, way back in, those, in that time period. So they for sure didn't want somebody who fully understood the apparatus in there being the, the top intelligence person for the president. That's really what the national security advisor is. They have to juggle between the CIA, all the three-letter agencies, the Department of Defense. So now we're looking, and, and, and you know, we are one of the ones that found this Office of Net Assessments money. We had sources that had come to us that said that there was an odd amount of money, hundreds of thousands of dollars that was moving through this organization, and we began that investigation. I, I think that the only thing, Maria, that I would correct you on uh, is that this guy, Halper, was, was, was not a spy. Uh, this guy just helped Christopher Steele make things up. Uh, all of all of what they did, they had no sources. It was a he did phony reports. Uh, this has to be investigated. And why, uh, at the time, the Deputy Attorney General Rosenstein and the FBI Director Christopher Ray, when Speaker of the House Paul Ryan and I and Trey Gowdy went in and, and asked about this situation, uh, you know, they played dumb. They didn't know anything about this. They had no idea. They never heard of anybody. We said, well, who is this? What 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 is this? Who is this person? What's going on here? Crickets. They wouldn't say anything. Now you look back, what yeah. did they know? What did they know at that time? Did they know hundreds of thousands of dollars were, 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 had, you know, were, had gone missing? I mean, this has been two years ago now, Maria, that, that we first discovered that there might be a problem at the Office of Net Assessments, a part of the Department of Defense, where they were using yeah. taxpayer dollars ultimately not to spy, but to make up nonsense that they then took in, the dirty cops took in to open an investigation on the president of the United States that ultimately became the special prosecutor. That was in full motion. Remember, at that time period in early 2018, that was in full motion. And we yeah. as investigators were bringing this information to the leadership, hoping that the DOJ and FBI would say, hey, maybe we have a problem here. We need to do something else. But, but you, know, you know, of course, history shows they didn't do and, it. And the American people... The American people would know zilch about this if Donald Trump did not win. And if he, if he doesn't win again, this is going under the rug. Nobody, there is going to be no accountability whatsoever. And this whole movement of the left, it includes the Congress, it includes media, it includes the FBI, it includes technology companies, all on the same page to take down Donald Trump. You have a new book coming out. It's called Countdown to Socialism. It's coming out next month, and in it you write, perhaps more important, the collusion hoax perpetrated by the media, government officials, and political operatives has become the model for a series of information operations, from the Kavanaugh nomination to the phony impeachment process that target not only the president and his supporters, but also the liberties and legacy of the American way of life. Well said, Congressman. Tell me about the book. You're publishing this yourself. Yeah, well, actually, it's, it's being published uh, by Encounter Books. Uh, and, and what we're doing is, is that we're making it so that it's, it's we're going back to the time when the printing press became uh, more developed. Because one of the things I want to make sure we could do is I don't want this traveling over the Internet where people Google something, look up on Wikipedia, look it up on Facebook or the Twitter sewer. Uh, those places are not safe, and they're poisoning the minds of millions of Americans. So what I put together uh, is something that you can actually read in one short setting, uh, you know, less than, less than a couple hours, and then hopefully you'll share it uh, with your neighbors. And so that's what we're really trying to promote out here, is that for the American people uh, to have a source for real, unfiltered information. And I think that is the president's biggest concern he has right now, is we have over half of the American people that just can't get the real information. They don't know, Maria, if they're not watching Fox Business and you, they've never heard of the Office of Net Assessments. They don't know that, that they were using these dirty, that's fake, right. washed up, phony spies making up uh, garbage. And that's what we have to get out to the American people before this election. And then I think Donald Trump would, very, should uh, win pretty point. easily. It's 
Well, it's absolutely extraordinary that so many in the country are continu continuing to buy this story that was peddled all of these years. Congressman, you just heard the president talk about mail-in voting and how he believes there's going to be cheating uh, by these mail-in votes. Do you believe the technology, the social media companies, will also try to cheat going into the election to try to suppress conversation by uh, conservatives to try to take Donald Trump down? Well, look, uh, out here in California, we're, the, uh, we're, we're, we're at the forefront of ballot harvesting and cheating and mailing ballots to everyone. Just in this last primary, I had, in my own congressional district, I had uh, people that I knew that came to my office, and I'm, I'm talking hundreds of people that got two ballots or three ballots. And as it relates to the social media companies, Maria, uh, people need to, to, the only reason you go on to Facebook or to Google or to, or to the Twitter sewer is just to see what the left is doing. You cannot go there uh, for information because you will not get the truth. They are censoring on a daily basis uh, what the American people and people around the world are seeing about the Republicans and conservatives. All right, Congressman, thank you so much for being here this morning. Devin Nunes will be